Today, we're gonna to be building a front core support on this tube frame Camaro behind me. To do that, we're gonna be using the Eastwood hydraulic tubing bender. I'm gonna walk you through the process of setting up the bender, and then I'm gonna show you how to make the core support. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to tear down the tubing bender, and we gotta set up for the one inch die. Currently, we have the one and five eighths die in here. This would be the most common die you'd be using for doing drag race roll cage tubing. So first things first, we're gonna pull the center pin. What that's gonna do is it's gonna remove the center die. Also take the needle off, because you'll have to put it on the other die. This is your tubing shoe, which actually holds the tube itself. Um, you need the pin and also the locating pin for the die out as well. And then you can just lift the die out of the way. You also have your backstop die, which is here. You're gonna pull the pin for that and pull the backstop die out. So there's three pieces to your die kit. You have the center die. This is our one inch center die. It's four inches on center line. And then you have your backstop die, which has a pin in it. And I'll show you what this is once we set it up. And then you have your shoe to locate the tubing once you have it in the bender. So first things first, we're gonna take the die. Orientation is like this, sorry, like this. And the way you tell that is by the way where this bolt is sitting. The bolt is used to clamp on to the die to hold the tube in place. So first things first, you're gonna put the die in there. And your big pin here is gonna be your locating pin for the center of the die. Your next step is gonna be setting the backstop. The backstop goes in with the roll pin down. What the roll pin does is it sets the backstop height. Basically what you're looking for is on the, chat, the frame of the bender itself, you wanna be able to put the pin, this long pin, the longest one you have, into the backstop, which sets you about right there. Next, you're gonna take your longer pin of the two that you have, and you're gonna locate your bend point on the die itself. What this is used for is when you do multiple bends, as you go further into a, a long bend, you need to be able to reset the pin to put the die at separate spots, and we'll show you that as we go through here. And lastly, your die shoe that holds the tubing in place. And there you have it. You're all set up, ready to go. What I'm gonna show you next is how to set your pointer and get your bend uh, basically centered up so you know that what you're bending is actually what you're reading here on the die itself. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to set up your bend die um, with the needle. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a piece of one inch tubing. We're gonna take it, we're gonna bend it to 30 degrees and then we're gonna check that bend to make sure that it's correct. As you go through and you check your bend, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do, you're gonna adjust this needle where you need it to be so that when you're making a bend, you're actually reading it on your bend scale here. So we're gonna start with the needle right here at zero and I'm gonna set the pipe up and show you how to do it. One thing you wanna ensure is that before you start bending, you tighten this bolt down. It's gonna keep the tube from slipping in the die as you go to make a bend. So to turn the machine on, hit the green button here, and you'll hear the pump kick on. You have the handle on the back here. Basically, up is gonna go with the, uh, the ram's gonna come in and then push it down, the ram's gonna go out. So we're gonna push it down and watch it. Basically what we're looking to do is take the slack out of the die here on the backstop. So now you can see the backstop is tight on the tube itself. And what we wanna look at is where this yellow line is right here, this is where the bend is gonna start. So from this point forward, we're gonna start bending for that 30 degrees. What we wanna do is we wanna take the needle and set it at zero. All right, so now we got the tension on the die and on the tube. And what we're gonna do is from this yellow line here, this is where the bend is gonna start. We're gonna set the needle at zero, and as we move the ram forward, the needle is gonna move forward and show us what our bend degrees are. 
So we're at zero right now. We have tension on the back die. That tells us that we're set, and that's the beginning of our bend. So we're going to push down on the handle, and the frame is going to advance forward. And as you can see, the needle's going to go along with it and tell us where we're going. So now I'm at 30 degrees. What you normally want to do, it really depends on the type of material you're using, the thickness of the material itself, and also the size of it. You have what's called spring back. So you need to go a little bit further forward on the, on the bend to get yourself set. This is one of the things you're going to learn as you're using the bender. You're going to learn what material has what type of spring back and such as you kind of do the same thing over and over again. This is why I always say to have a template to set up with and get your die set. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to 32 and see if that gets us 30. So there's 32 degrees. We'll just back it up a little bit. And you know when you have the tension off, you can see the, the arm move, but the die stayed stationary. We're just gonna come in here and take the tubing out and we're gonna measure what the angle of the bend is on the tube itself now. This is a great tool to have when you're doing any kind of roll cage bending or just tubing bending in general. You need to get yourself some sort of angle finder so you know exactly what you're doing as you're making your bends. All right, so now that you have your tube bent, you wanna check and make sure that your needle is reading what you're looking for. So we're looking for 30 degrees. Basically, we're gonna come in, make sure we got zero, which we do. You're gonna take it and put it on the leg of your bend here. Hold it flat. All right, so we're a little over 30 degrees at 30.8. That's completely fine, 0.8 of a degree, you're, just, you're not even gonna notice something like that. And when we're fabricating it, it's just not gonna really play a, a role in it. But what you basically wanna look for is that you're not something like, we're looking for 30 and now we have 33 or 35. So we know we have the bender set for this die now. What you can also do is keep this piece of tubing and put it on the bottom of the bender, wherever you wanna put it on your workbench, whatever. And when you come back the next time to reset this die up, you can put it in the bender itself reset and set the needle. Now you don't ever have to waste a piece of material again. Now you have a 30 degree bend that you can use over and over and over again when you set up your one inch die. At this point, the hydraulic tubing bender is all set up and ready to roll. If you wanna see the tubing bender in action, click the link and watch the next video.